Hello, and welcome to The Monster Painter. This week, I'm mass producing some tiny display cases. Now, why on earth am I going to mass produce a bunch of display cases? Well, Frostgrave is the reason. The Maze of Malachor, an exciting 12-part campaign, has been selected by my uh, Frostgrave group recently to be our current campaign. And so the first scenario, which is called the Relic Room, requires four display cases per player. We've got eight players, so that's 32 display cases. A fellow player, Dave, is committed to making 12 of them, which leaves me uh, a mere 20 to create. So I'm gonna have to mass produce some of these display cases. All right, you're gonna need a few things for this project. Uh, first and foremost, a utility knife, of course. Then you're going to need uh, some craft sticks. I believe I used up three packs of craft sticks in this project. You're gonna need some uh, green tape, um, not the sticky stuff, the, the not very sticky stuff. You're gonna need a whole bunch of bits and bobs, and you're going to need uh, some dollar sto store foam core, uh, not terribly expensive at all. And you're gonna need some glue. I use this high tack glue. It's a little more expensive, but I don't think glue is the place to skimp. So the first step is to simply cut down our craft sticks. The scenario calls for display cases that are one inch wide and one inch deep. Conveniently, the craft sticks are one inch wide, so uh, this will save us a lot of trouble. Uh, the cases are supposed to be six inches long, so we have to cut them to the correct size. I cut one end and then uh, measure the craft stick cut and cut the other end. We're going to save the longer off cut for later. The next step is to cut a whole bunch of one inch wide strips of foam core. I use a crafting stick as a guide to make the measurements. And in order to record this step, I had to shoot from a wider angle, shattering my carefully created illusions. And holy moly, look how bald I am. Wow, no wonder I'm always wearing a hat. Now I'm going to cut down those foam core strips into six inch segments. I'm going to use one of the cut down craft sticks as a guide. And these foam core pieces are going to make up the body of the display cases. As a result, I'm going to need a whole bunch of them. All right, time to break out the glue and put these bad boys together. I will glue three of the cut foam core strips together in a stack. This will form the body of the display cases. Then I will generously apply the glue along the side of the stack and attach the cut down craft sticks. I will repeat this on the other side of the stack, making up most of the, the display case. The next step is very important. I'm going to use some of the green masking tape to bind both ends of the display case together. This is going to act like a cheap and easy clamp. The craft sticks are made from some kind of fast growing softwood and as certain as death and taxes, it will warp all over the place when it comes in contact with the glue. If we don't bind them together while they dry, uh, we're going to get a really unsatisfactory result. They'll be all warped all over the place and won't look like a cabinet at all. So while this is a rough and ready project, we do want our final result not to be a great big mess. So this is how we're going to do it. And because we need 20 of these cabinets, I have to repeat the process over and over and over again and over again and over again and over again. This is the uh, easily the most time consuming part of the project. All right, now for a fun part, removing the tape. We can see how the cases have all held together thanks to the tape and they are starting to really look like display cases now. In the next step, we are going to take those long off cuts that we saved from when we were cutting the craft sticks to size and we're going to attach them to the ends of the display case. They look effective and provide an economy of means. They save material and they save the extra step of cutting the pieces to fit. Because these end pieces aren't as long as the side pieces, 
we don't have to tape them into place. Whatever warping that occurs will be uh, much less pronounced and should not be a problem. Now for the final and funnest step, attaching the bits and bobs to be the objects in the display cases. I will be using a slew of game pieces that I have acquired over the years. I like to find cheap derelict games and raid them for the parts. And they are of a good size and fairly convincing as objects in a dis museum display case. Really, you could use any little fiddly bit that your heart desires and it'll probably work. So let your imagination run wild. I will not be painting anything in this project. The blonde color of the craft stick works well and painting them would not make them look any more like wood. And the white of the foam core also looks like a typical museum display case, albeit a somewhat modern one. Um, but I think it works just fine. While the final product looks rough and ready, they are supposed to be a thousand years old, and so all the gaps and the imperfections and warping and nicks can be begged off as the travails of the passage of such an immense amount of time. And here are all 20 of the display cases, looking very much like ancient uh, museum display cases, all ready for our Thursday night game of Frostgrave. And here they are in their natural habitat, the relic room of the maze of Malkor, su the subject of a desperate struggle for treasure and arcane lore within the confines of a long ruined and abandoned university of magic next week on the monster painter i take a look at some cheap plastic animals for tabletop gaming remember to like comment subscribe and ring the bell ring the bell Painter.